Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be putting some new stuff on my dirt jump bike. So, first up we've got this Hope brake rotor. This is a 220mm rotor. It's not going on the dirt jumper, this is going on my Marin. And then I'm going to take the 160 rotor that I'll have spare off the Marin and that's going to go on the dirt jumper. So we are still getting a Hope rotor on the dirt jumper, which is very nice. Uh, next up, we have this wonderful package here, and I will just get it out now. So, here it is. I've got some new stickers for my fork. So, they're going to go on here, like that. These are the 2019-2020 model stickers. Uh, these are 2017-2016 uh, stickers. I would have got more of these, because I don't really like putting the wrong stickers on things. But I couldn't find these ones anywhere, so I went with these. And these are the slick graphics ones, so they're super nice. So, I can't wait to put them on. Also got some new grips as well to go on, just some Berg Tech Bartender Pros in the grey, super nice. Also got new tyre levers. Uh, this is the adapter for the big rotor. And then this is the last thing here, and uh, again, I'll just get it out. So yeah, here it is, I got a new brake. It's a SRAM level TL, so it's a two-pot uh, caliper, and yeah, should work a lot better than what's on there at the moment, because I've got a Shimano SLX one at the moment. That uh, doesn't work, so that's fun. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is it doesn't have a clamp on it, and I couldn't find one, so I had to order one from China, and it's gonna take like, well, it's been two weeks since I ordered it, and it's not supposed to arrive for another two weeks. So I'm gonna have to try bod something, because I need this, because I can't actually break at the moment, because I don't have a break that works. So that's fun. So yeah, this is these are all the goodies. Um, yeah, let's get to uh, install them. I think I'm gonna start with the fork, as I already have it off. quite perfectly straight but it's close enough it'll do for me so yeah it looks pretty sick onto the uh onto the lower one yep that's this side done managed to get the uh the air bubble out which is good again it's not completely perfect i'm not a professional but uh, it's good enough i'm happy with it just gotta go to the other side um i'm not gonna bother filming it because it's the same thing over again so uh yeah i will see you when it's done so here's the fork in all of its glory. Looks very good. I managed to get the second side on without any air bubbles, which is nice. And then it's gonna go in there. Unfortunately, uh, the lighting isn't too great. It's starting to go dark, but uh, we'll crack on anyway and see how far we can get. great grips but I quite like the orange one so I think I'm actually gonna leave them on for now and um, I'll put these ones on my Marin because I think the orange actually looks pretty cool I'll give these ones a clean up but I think I'm gonna leave them on there for now so these are gonna go on the other bike <laughs> so now I'm just gonna take the brake off and I'm gonna swap it over with the new one um, hopefully that's the plan anyway because I don't have the right mount yet the stars arrived so here is the brake. Just going to SLX, doesn't work at all. Um, so this can just go go in the parts box and I can fix it or get rid of it or something. Uh, now this is going to be fun because I want to change the brake rotor over, which means I have to 
change three brake rotors over because the front 180 mil rotor on the mound is going on the back, the 200 is going on the front, and the 160 on the back of that is going on Ian. So I'm not going to bother filming that because it's just me changing brake rotors. So unfortunately, I couldn't put the 160 mm Hope rotor on the dirt jumper because the Marin can't actually fit a 180 rotor on the back, which I didn't know yeah. about. So this is it here. This is the 180 mm rotor with the adapter on here. And it looks fine, it all lines up, but the problem is, is in here, the caliper hits the metal here, and it's not quite lined up from the top. So yeah, as you can see, this isn't straight. So it spins, but it rubs, and it's gonna wear the pads down, and it's not gonna work properly, and it's constantly rubbing. And I can't move it over because it hits the frame. So yeah, not the best frame design on Marin's behalf here. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately I have to put the 160 mm right back on here. 200 is on the front. Over here we have it's just the uh, the Shimano one that was on there before, which is fine, it does the job. Got the brake on. Uh, I didn't manage to film that, I just kind of did it. Brake on here, this is all done wrong, we ignore this. Haven't internally rooted it yet, because it's just going to be time consuming and I can't be bothered. So yeah, up here. And then this is my solution for the brake caliper. Um, I did have it on with zip ties for a short period of time, which was fine until the zip ties came off, the lever slid under the handlebar so I couldn't brake while I was going downhill and I slid into the back of a car. I was fine, bike was fine, car was fine, but yeah. So I sorted this out, it's just a bit of metal with a bolt. It does the job for now, just until uh, until the uh, the clamp arrives so yeah so yeah that's everything i'm currently editing the video as i speak now and i kind of realized i hadn't filmed anything to explain any of this so that's what this is uh, i did some riding the other day so yeah let's just finish up the video with that and yeah so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one Heavy landing.